hey there any viewers I might have on this YouTube page um well I decided to make this kind of not dance video but um I go away to the same summer intensive every year I decided to make a review of it kind of they did not ask me to do this I'm doing this on my own time oh, my head looks weird um and so basically it's just a review of a camp I go to it's called American Dance Training Camp I'm not gonna say the location I go to um but it's fabulous anyway and um basically it's a summer intensive that is has single week long sessions for the past two years i've been going for four weeks at a time take going for two weeks then taking a week off and then going for two more weeks and um basically it's awesome like i'll put their like channel name and their um website yeah sorry for getting words <laughs> um in my description and basically you go there on Sunday at like sometime in the afternoon and you check in and stuff and then you go to screenings where they place you in certain groups. The great thing about this camp is that you don't have to audition beforehand, you just audition there, but you're already in the camp. I mean like they just divide you into different groups, which is really nice because then you have a secure place for the summer. Um, and basically you just audition to see what group you get into. I've been in various groups. It's like I've actually been in every single group they've had, which is kind of interesting, I guess. And um basically each ability um has their own time for classes and such as there'll be if there's four different groups based on ability, there'll be four different teachers. So um there's usually a three main classes. There's hip hop, jazz, and musical theater usually. I remember I went for one week where we didn't have musical theater, one week where we had two hip hop classes, like usually those are the three classes that everyone has to take all every week. Um, and sometimes there's a fourth depending on how many people are coming to the camp and usually the fourth is along the lines of like street jazz, another hip hop class, another musical theater class, stuff like that. Um well like um everyone was required to make take the either three or four main classes and then after that you have electives and um you can sign up for electives on the first day that you're there and basically the electives can range from like anything basically just the counselors teach them and it's the electives are a lot of fun to try because all these people who are professional at these certain skills will be teaching them so it's it's a very um not a once in a lifetime chance necessarily but um it's a very good opportunity to learn new things um I'm just going to walk through the day because I feel as though I'm just jumping around a little too much. On a regular day, basically, you just have to, um, you wake up at around 7 or so. I remember I woke up at 7. I woke up early because, I, I don't know, I just woke up early. And um, it's in a dorm setting, so the leader on your floor of dorms will um, wake you up. Usually that or you'll have an alarm or something go off. I don't know. Um, everyone does it differently. And, um... You'll have to get ready before breakfast, which is at 8 o'clock. I remember my groups always got there at 7.50 because we wanted to be the first ones there. And so we could get food first, yeah. And so we'd go down to the lunch hall about then. we eat breakfast. Um, and then after that, we just have a morning warm-up, which is usually about an hour long. And um, the morning warm-up, really, you stretch a lot. You do a lot of warming up your muscles. You do a lot of that form of stuff so that you're, you're really ready to dance, I guess. Um, there's a lot of strength training along with that, too. Um, after that, you go into your four main classes. Um, uh, basically, you just go into the, the three or four, not four necessarily. I keep saying that. Um, like, and you just do those classes. Then after that, after the first three classes, or the first two, depending on how many groups there are, um, you have a lunch break, and like that lunch break is usually an hour long or something. And um, after that lunch break, you have um, afternoon activities, which are basically uh, the ones I mainly did were canoeing and paintball, um, where basically you can go play paintball or like there's so many different activities like ice skating, um, horseback riding, swimming, going on a trampoline, stuff like that, that you just sign up for at the beginning of the week. And basically, like I didn't sign up for many of them, I'll tell that. Um, and they're a lot of fun to go to. I just I like hanging out in my dorm better. Um, 
Oh, by the way, everyone gets a roommate or two roommates. Um, for three of the four weeks I went in 2010, um, I had two other roommates, and for one of the weeks I did not. Ha I only had one roommate. Um, and the great thing about having a roommate is that you have a friend immediately. So basically, my roommates and I would always hang out together and stuff like that. Um, like right after the afternoon activity, you have siesta, which is basically a nap time. And basically, that is the greatest thing in the world, I'll tell you that. Like, if anyone's going there, use your siesta time. Use it. I mean, I'm, I'm not even kidding. This is so valuable. And um, basically, you just have to nap or do nothing or be quiet, basically. It sounds awful, but it's actually really great. And um, after siesta, you have um, your last class. Then you have dinner. And... After dinner, you have an old camp activity where everyone in the camp, the teachers, the counselors, the directors, the um, campers, everyone has to participate in these things. They There's a different one every night. Some of them are team activities. Some of them are dance tech, which basically you judge people based on their flexibility, their strength, stuff like that. Or whatever team, ha like each dorm floor is a team, and whatever team has the best in each category wins points based on that and those points go to towards these team points that whoever has the most of at the end of the week um, they get a free pizza party um, and basically so we get points from doing that um, there's also dance idol oh, dance idol everyone loved that so much basically all these different acts compete to see who's gonna be in the Friday night show where all the classes produce their um, dance pieces for I, I don't con I'm really not describing this well. Um, uh, basically, so in the Friday Night Showcase, and that's really hard to win. Um, I think I've, my teams have won twice, I believe. Maybe more. I don't know. I have a certificate on my wall. I don't know. But um, basically, we, um, that's a big part of the camp, I must say. And then after any of the old camp activities, you have just this canteen time, which canteen is our storage thing. They have Gatorade shirts. I'm actually, wearing other shirts. Right now. And um, basically, like you just get to hang out during that time, take a shower, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Um, also, for anyone who's going there next year, um, take showers. Uh, you probably will anyway. You want to take a shower probably every minute of the day. I must say, um, you get really sweaty. Um, Oh, this is getting long. Um, basically, after you do all that, you have a team meeting where you meet with all the girls on your floor and um, you kind of talk about the day, I guess. Talk about what's going on the next day, stuff like that. I don't know. It's always different, I guess. Um, and then you go to bed, basically. And that's a typical day, I guess. And um, the thing is, uh, it's a really great camp to go to. I recommend it to anyone. And this next part, which will probably be like two minutes long, I'm trying not to make this too long. Um, like, this is basically recommended stuff. I recommend anyone who's going to the camp brings. I like I've been going for two years. I'm a two-year camper. Sorry, I'm just pulling the list up on my iPod. Okay. Oh crud! Now I'm not gonna have two minutes. Um, the first thing I recommend is spandex shorts. Like, I recommend the longer kind, only, like, biker shorts length, I guess. But no padding in them or anything, just spandex. Um, they work the best because, um, they ask you to wear some form of spandex shorts underneath your shorts. Or tights and stuff like that. And if you wear tights during the summer, it gets really, really hot. They don't have air conditioning at the places I went to. And because of that, um... You'll get really hot, so I recommend bringing those so you don't have to wear two pairs of shorts and stuff. Uh, fun costumes. Like, if you have, like, I had a red tutu, like a petticoat tutu, that I wore for one of my dance productions. That was probably the greatest thing out of everything to bring to that camp, because whenever we'd have to wear red costumes, I'd always wear that, and it would, it was just awesome. Pencils and markers. Um you'll want pencils constantly to write stuff down and no one ever thinks to bring them so i recommend bringing pencils um and a dress book you're gonna want to keep in contact with people use those pencils yes um purex three-in-one laundry sheets i recommend this if you're a multi-week camper um i know i 
like they're not paying me to say this or anything um like basically it's just a laundry sheet that has laundry detergent and an anti-static thing on it you just put your laundry in the la washing machine you put one of the sheets in and you're done it's it's really easy and they don't spill which is great so that's also great for traveling hangers i hung all my clothes and it, it gives you you use so much better you use your closet so much better if you use hangers um, a fan. Some makes it gets really hot in the rooms. Like, it was really, really, really hot the, one of the weeks I went. And I had just a mini fan, and then we, my two roommates and I broke it. Yo, yeah, it wasn't a good idea. We didn't have a fan after that, and uh, it was awful. Um, body mist and deodorant. Bring a lot of this stuff. Uh, put a body mist, like a mini one, in your dance bag. It, you begin to smell after a while, and it's not fun not fun so make sure you bring that kind of stuff hair accessories um i remember there's this one girl who went for all six of the possible sessions and uh she brought like a thousand hair bands i believe like she brought a bunch of 10 packs and there's like a thousand in total and by the end of the six sessions she did not have a single one left because everyone kept borrowing them so you're gonna want a lot of hair accessories you're gonna need stuff if you have like i have bangs and i have to hold them back with um clips so you need to bring stuff like that um a few light snacks like uh baked potato chips uh granola bars stuff like that because you'll find that after dance classes or in between classes and stuff you'll get kind of hungry and you just need something to hold you over so you're not starving by lunch um a spare water bottle i broke my water bottle not a good idea so basically make sure you bring stuff like that because you don't want to have to accidentally break your water bottle like someone dumb like me did. Um, an extra bath towel. Uh, you're not going to want to have to do wash every day. So bring an extra towel so you don't have to do every day. Um, blue tape. Because you can't hang anything on the walls there without using blue tape. Like painter's tape. And so you're going to want that. Because if you don't have it then you can't hang stuff up. An iPod wall charger, only if you have an iPod, because you're not allowed to bring computers to the camp, so you won't have any way to charge it unless you do that. Um, pictures and posters, that's kind of a given. Um, sweatpants, you'll need them for hip-hop class. Um, shower caddy, uh, easier to get in and out of the shower with. A lot of socks, you're going to want a lot of socks because you're not going to have want to have to do wash every day. I found that I changed my socks about three times a day because of how sweaty my feet got. Uh, and no, it's not because I'm like an excessive sweater or anything. It was just, it was really hot. We were doing a lot of work. So that was something that you're going to want to make. Shirts in a variety of colors. Every week for the show at the end of the week, um, your counselors will ask you, well, not your counselors, but your teachers will ask you to wear a certain color as a costume. And um, basically, if you have a variety of colored shirts, then you're covered, basically. And that's great, so you don't have to borrow things from people. Moist acne pads. I recommend Noxema. Um, sorry, just looking to see where they were. Um, after each class, if you just wipe the sweat off your face with these, it prevents breakouts really well. Um, flip flops. You're gonna well, kind of flip flops. Some intensives don't like these, but ADTC was fine with them. Um, you can just slip them on and go. I always put my foot thongs on with them, so. Uh, slippers of some form. You can't be barefoot anywhere, so just wear slippers and they're comfortable. You're required to bring a craft of some sort. Bring coloring books and crayons because they're not expensive and they're easy to get. Okay, I'm gonna end this because it's getting really long. So, uh, their channel and everything somewhere within this box is in a box. Um, and yeah, bye.